Before this video starts, I just want to say if this luxury stuff isn't your thing, click out of this video because it's definitely something you wouldn't like. I don't know why you would have clicked on this anyway. And number two, sorry this is all choppy. I was just super excited about getting the bag and I wasn't even like really concerned about vlogging and everything. But more videos are coming about this product I got and yeah, so let's get on with the video. Okay guys, <laughs> it has come and this is a really, really big purchase, so I'm not even going to give you a reason of why I got this because there's no reason. I just got it for myself. So we're gonna unbox this baby. Then for the people who care, they can stay and listen to how I got this because this is a hard to find product. I'm hoping that it's the 2019 version. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, so I don't wanna bore you guys if you just came to watch the unboxing part. Um, sometimes I watch these videos and they just keep talking and talking about how they got it. So let's just open it and then I'll talk about it. Oh my gosh, so there's the Louis Vuitton thing. I've never actually ordered an online purchase. I've purchased pre-loved and I purchased in store and this is my first online purchase. Ooh. Okay, so here's the receipts and stuff. I'll go into that a little later. Okay, so that's everything in this box. I'm a little bit sad I didn't get a gift bag and stuff because like I've seen other people like do these things and they've gotten gift bags, but whatever. So first let's open the receipt. My very first Louis Vuitton was a pre-loved one and it was like the really old version of this stuff. This says, thank you for shopping with Louis Vuitton. Your product has been crafted by experienced artisans with exclusive materials. To learn more about preserving your item, please visit us online or at a Louis Vuitton store. Okay, that's just like a letter. And then this is Louis Vuitton exchanges and returns. So this is like if it's defective or something or I don't like the product, which I've never seen this product in person, which is weird to say that I, I bought it, but that's okay. Then I have the receipt here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, they say my associate is a smartphone. That is so funny. It says my associate is a smartphone. Then we have the uh, return address label in case I want to return it. So let's get on with the unboxing. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, it's so soft and pliable. Oh my gosh. You know how many times I have like watched videos about this thing? It's insane. All right, I'm gonna stop laughing. It's the new version, it's the new version. It's the new version. The straps, this is amazing. Okay, I'm getting way too excited. For you guys wondering, this is the Mini Palm Springs backpack. This is the product number. This is all in a different language. Oh wait, it's all in a bunch of different languages. So this looks like a care booklet. It just has like all these instructions in it. Instructions are like care. This is the textile card. Whoa, guys, I can't get over this. Okay, well first I wanna see if my camera that I'm filming on fits in here. It just feels so nice. And then the date code is back here. Oh man, I'm gonna have to move. I'm gonna have to do this handheld because it's like super hard to get back in there. It was made in the USA. I don't really care where my Louis Vuitton products are made from. Like honestly, I just like the bag, so. Okay guys, so I finally got this to cooperate, kind of. So this is kind of hard to do because it's placed in a really weird section of the bag, but the date code is TX5109. So it was made on the 50th week of 2019 in Texas, I do believe, because it was made in America. So this is the Canon M50. It's kind of like large. That's one thing that I don't like about it. I'm gonna do a whole like review and everything on this camera but it's really big, it can fit in here. So I'm happy about that. So all I'm gonna do, I kind of put it on the lens so it's kind of upside down. Sorry, I'm not doing a hot job filming, but this is what it looks like. So it does in fact fit the camera in the bag and I can put all my other stuff, all my other crap in there too. There's still some room. <sighs> here she is in all of her pride and glory. Oh my gosh, the material just feels like so soft. For some weird reason, this feels a lot softer than my like Neverfull that I just got. That's why I'm like shocked. That's the biggest shock that I actually have about this bag is that how soft it is. That sounds so weird too. All right, so now I'm gonna put together the little straps here. Honestly, people are right about this. You just get these straps and you're like, what the heck am I supposed to do with this? This is so weird, <laughs> okay. 
I think they're supposed to go on like this. Okay, so I got the straps on her. They aren't as long as I thought they would be. I don't know, for some weird reason, like I thought they would be longer because a lot of people have like shortened the straps, which I probably might do because I'm so short. I'm only five foot pretty much. Yeah, I know our Christmas tree is still up, but this is what the backpack looks like. It hangs like pretty low. It like hangs near my butt. I think I might try shortening the straps, but overall it's like really comfortable and it's just so soft. Like that's what I cannot get over about this backpack because I can guarantee you this is nowhere as soft as this. Maybe it's a placebo or something. I have no idea. You can wear it like that. You can wear it crossbody. I don't know if I would wear it crossbody. So this one lady, I saw her video. She kind of like doubled the straps or whatever. And you can wear it like this. Okay, well, it's on the shortest setting. So clearly I wouldn't wear the bag like this, but it would like hang lower, obviously. I don't know. You could wear it like this. There's like tons of different ways you can wear this. I'm thinking that I'm just going to wear it as a backpack because I kind of want it to be rather than like a crossbody. Even though maybe like when I go out or whatever and I don't want my backpack behind me, I might put it crossbody. I don't know, but anyway, that is what it looks like on me. So now I'm going to get into how I got the bag and everything like that, how I got it. Stalking the website. I literally would just be on the Louis Vuitton website and just refresh the page and it always said notify me underneath the like the little thing when it with the palm springs and stuff so i was at work one day and i was like refreshing the page so i refreshed it and it said place in cart and i was like holy cow this never happens so i quickly texted sherry and i was like hey so the bag that i've been really wanting i was originally gonna look for this and everything in new york city because i'm going to new york in february and i was like oh it'd be like really cool to shop on fifth avenue and maybe get a bag of some sort so originally i was gonna look for this in new york city and just like wait it out but you know there's always some hope that i had and i've heard people say stock the website so i texted sherry and she didn't respond and i kept refreshing it and still said place in cart and this was like around 2 p.m 2 30 eastern standard time and she just still didn't respond so like 20 minutes later or about 15 it was gone like it was automatically already gone so i was like okay never mind it's gone and she responded then after that and said oh wow and then i was like okay so i knew it wasn't meant to be and i should just like move on with my life <laughs> but then I just kept stalking the website because so many times people were just like stalk the website just refresh the page at random times so a couple days later i think i was sitting on my couch it was 9 a.m uh, i was like you know i'm gonna just check you know so then i refreshed the page and there and behold was the place in cart i'm like it's meant to be mine so i quickly placed it in my cart and checked out and then I was like, oh my gosh, can't believe I spent all that. I'm that type of person that like, if I want something, like it's not like I just go out and buy it like I did this, um, but I do a lot of research and I have been watching so many videos on this bag. Um, this is a really dumb, dumb reason, but like my vlog camera, since it's like a lot bigger now, uh, it can't really fit in my crossbody, my favorite MM bag. And I was contemplating on selling that, but then I was like, eh, nah. I mean, if, times get tough like I can always sell it and it will sell pretty fast that's a rare item as well so Sherry doesn't want me to sell that one either so I've just kept it and I just bought the bag waited for it to come and here she is so uh, that is kind of how I got this item just stock the website and don't give up on like what you want or you can always look on the pre-loved market. But the reason why I didn't really want to go pre-loved or anything, this is like the highest priced item I've ever like purchased, which is kind of insane and crazy to some of you guys. But um, I wanted to get it from a source that I knew I could return it. So many things on the pre-loved market are not returnable and I wanted to be able to return it. And if there was any like damages, like I would want it, you know, to have some like security, like knowing I could give it back or return it or whatever. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.